Good afternoon traders. It is Monday, June 16th, 2014 and the U.S. stock market is closed. Came into this morning a little bit worried. Uh, the overnight markets in, in Europe and Asia were all in the red and there was a lot of talk about the markets were spooked because of the international situation, specifically the situation in Ukraine and in Iraq and the market started out really hard down and you know our equities started melting away and i did not like that but you know it bounced and the dow actually ended up closing up five points today it's slightly positive but you know this is a bull market and it's going to take more than some border disputes in ukraine and uh, some disturbances in Iraq to rein in this bull market. It, it just, the, the fact that those things don't really make much difference with, uh, with, the, with the overall market and strength of the, all the stocks that we're trading is just suggests this, this is really a strong bull market. Anyway, we had a decent day. We uh, had 11 positions coming in. Uh, six of them closed out positive, five of them closed out negative, and that's about what we expect. You know, I, I have about a 55% uh, rate of rate winning, and that's exactly what came out. But, you know, we had one trade that was quite a bit better than the others. That was in Yelp, and we ended up closing out over $4,000 in our closed out trade. So, you know, not a great day, but still, uh, a positive day is always good. We like to make money. And we are carrying uh, over $5,000 in open trade going into tomorrow. So, all in all, uh, in spite of all these, these pr international problems and everything else, we had a decent day. Let's take a look at the chart. Okay, we're looking at the Dow here. And, you, you know, this was today's action. You can see um, on, on the, the red line here, this was the opening bar down very hard. I think it got down to about 50 uh, negative or pretty close to that. Then, you know, it bounces, comes up, it goes past. <laughs> then it comes back down and bounces off that low again and then comes back up and makes a new high and then it pulls back ending up closing a positive five. Well, we, that is a sideways market obviously and you know, um, I would say that this market is, could continue sideways for another day or two or possibly it could wind up like a wound up spring and go for the top again. I do expect it's going to go for the top sometime during this week. Of course, uh, <laughs> there's always unexpected news that can come up, but this market uh, is not being spooked by news very much. And so uh, I would say that we're going to see a continuance of the bull move uh, very shortly. We could see it tomorrow. Who knows? Anyway, uh, I'll show you a couple of the uh, decent trades we had today. And um, let's see here. We want to get to there. All right. And uh, the first one of these is an old uh, friend of mine, Tesla Motors. I've always liked Tesla. And uh, that market gapped up this morning. We bought the gap right out of the gate here, and it kept going. And uh, we're holding, you know, about $2,500 in Tesla Motors. Very nice looking trade there. And the other, uh, the the other trade we had was in uh, this. Here we go. In Sun, S-U-N-E, which is Sun Edison, and uh, it, it, this look at this huge gap here. And of course, it, we buy gaps, and that scares people. And it did pull back just a little, but then it took off, and we are holding over two thousand dollars in uh, Sun Edison. It was kind of interesting. I, I really don't study fundamentals too much, but. Uh, Another um, solar market, uh, China Sun Energy, 
just tanked on us today after getting us in. It was our, our worst trade of the day. So we had two solars, one one great and one terrible. Anyway, that's the way it goes. We made money. That makes Greater Bob happy. Uh, I'm signing off, and I'll see you tomorrow on Tuesday.